In a single day and night of misfortune, the island of Atlantis disappeared to the depths of the sea. The word Atlantis makes me think about two things, sophisticated and corruption. No one knows the real story of what happened to the city of Atlantis, but what I do know is that Atlantis will rise again. And when it does, we'll be ready. This look is inspired by the movie Atlantis, The Lost Empire, and I hope you guys are ready for the long journey we have ahead of us. So we're going to want to start off with a primer, and I'm using this photo finish primer. You're going to want to make sure to blend it into the, your face and also down onto your neck because we will be working on our neck. And then you're going to want to take any foundation that you have and apply that onto your face for that flawless look because we do have flawless faces down here in Atlantis and blend it in with any foundation brush that you may have. I'm taking a concealer and putting that underneath of my eyes and on any blemishes because we do want to look perfect for our return to the surface. Now I am taking a translucent pressed powder and applying that all over the face to set it because we don't want to look oily or watery as some may say when we return back to the surface and now I'm priming my lips for later with just a lip balm and I'm taking an eyeshadow pencil in this pretty blue color and applying it to the hollows of my cheek this is going to act as a contour or even like a bronzer and this is what we do in Atlantis we like to take the blue colors and you know so we can match the water and the waves and the ocean scene and blend that in with your fingers or a brush. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. palette and I'm using this light blue color and I'm using the same brush we used for our concealer. And now you're going to want to make a fishy face because, you know, wouldn't that make sense to make a fish face? Duh. And apply that onto the hollows of our cheeks. Now I'm going to take a normal bronzer and apply that as well because I did want to give myself a very contoured look and I'm also taking a highlighter because I love to highlight. Don't you love to highlight? Because I love to highlight and I'm using this highlighter and now I'm taking this NYX roll on shimmer and applying that onto my cheeks and it is so beautiful and if you do not wear glitter. You are crazy because glitter is amazing and beautiful. And now you're going to want to prime your eyes for our eyeshadow and blend that in. And we're going to take a base and this is just a beige color and applying that onto your complete all of your eyelid. And now I'm taking this NYX Love in Paris palette and I'm going to take that white color and apply that onto the lids of our eyes. So yeah. You're going to want to do that and keep doing that, you know, make it get as wet as you would like. And I'm taking this turquoise -y color and applying it onto the um, outer corner of our eyes. I apologize, I stutter. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> and then I'm taking the same color that we used for our contour and applying that onto the outer corner of our eyes as well. And basically what I'm doing is I am just building up the color because we do want it to look like the ocean blue. I want it to be a very bright blue. And I'm taking this darker blue and applying that onto the outer corner of the eyes once again. Because I'm just taking different shades of blue so it will be much more vibrant. Vibrant. Um, vivid. And apply that, you know, as it goes. And taking this color and applying it onto the lids of our eyes. And I'm going to take one last blue and apply that onto the outer corners of our eyes one last time. And now I'm taking this NYX eyeliner in silver. And you're going to want to line your waterline. <laughs> so funny. And you're going to want to line that. 
and you can also tight line if you would like to and now you're going to want to comb out your eyebrows to prep them before you know start filling them in because you don't want it we want to tame them guys and now just fill in your eyebrows as you would normally do and this is just how i'm doing it Now I am taking this Chella highlighter stick for our underneath our eyebrows and you're going to want to obviously put it underneath your eyebrows so your eyebrows look more clean and it even helps your eyeshadow a bit. And then you're going to want to blend that in with any brush that you may have that will help you blend it in. And blend, 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 blend it in, but blend it in. Okay, <laughs> and now we're not done with the face yet. Come on guys, we need some glitter more glitter so i'm taking these rhinestones and like a turquoise and even deeper turquoise and applying that along the eyebrow you're gonna just want to keep doing that and when i was getting to the end of my eyebrow it was too big so i applied this smaller little white crystal and i put it there and now you're gonna want to do it under the eyes and apply that as normal like you did to the top and you're gonna wanna just do that, keep doing it, and look, it just looks so pretty. Like, oh my gosh, you look cute. You look like an Atlantic person. So there it is. And now you're gonna wanna take false eyelashes and I'm just using these. And you're gonna wanna put some glue on them and make sure they're tacky before you put them on. And I wasn't very smart and I didn't use a mirror. And so then I grabbed a mirror and I used um some tweezers to help me put them into place which is very helpful and you know repeat that onto your other eye as well we want them to look the same and you're gonna take an eyeliner or eyeliner curler an eyelash curler and you're gonna want to curl your lashes and take any mascara that you may have and put mascara on your eyelashes just to blend the real z's with fake z's <laughs> And repeat that onto the other eye and I'm taking this NYX uh, mascara just to do it to the bottom my bottom lashes because I like the wand on this it works a lot better and I also use it to set my eyebrows because this works very well for that as well so now I am lining my lips with a nude pencil and I am taking this very very nude pencil or pencil lipstick and applying that onto the lips and I'm taking this pixie pearl eyeshadow and applying it onto the center of my lips, top and bottom. Now you're going to want to go into the e.l.f. palette and take that same blue and apply it onto the outer corners of your lips. Because this is just going to add some more dimension. Just kidding. It's just going to look very freaking pretty and cool. And this is what everyone in Atlantis is doing right now. And apply that nude color to the center once more and that is your face makeup so now we are moving on to our chest area and I'm using the same eyeshadow stick um on my collarbones and applying that onto the hollows of them and uh, yeah you can also put it at the bottom because girl this just like makes your collarbones pop and it is so freaking amazing and beautiful and I recommend that you do this like all the time because I do and now I am taking this deep blue and applying that onto the hollows as well to deepen up the color a bit because I like it my colors to pop and now we are moving on to our crystal because our crystal is what powers us and keeps us Atlanteans alive and that is our power source so you're going to want to draw a crystal onto your chest right in between your collarbones and I'm just filling it in and now I'm going to take this black and apply that so we can sketch it out a bit so it can have a more defined shape and you know just you're going to want to keep doing that you can even reference a photo of a crystal if you would really like to which I recommend that you do because that would help you so much and it helped me so much but you know I have crystals so you know and now you're gonna want to shade in your crystal and I'm taking this purple 
first because we are kind of doing like an ombre effect ish and you're going to want to apply that all over the outside of the diamond because the purple is going to be on the outside and then when you're going in you're going to want to start going in with blues because the blues is what's going to be in the middle because that's our lightest color and you're going to apply the lightest blue you have onto the center of your crystal. So you're going to want to keep doing that, building up the color as much as you would like. And finally, you're going to want to outline your crystal just to, to make it more defined onto your chest. And I'm taking that roll-on shimmer one last time and applying it onto my crystal just to make it more shimmery and as well onto my collarbones because you can never have too much sparkles like let's be real girl. And I grabbed a little bit more of that purple and applied it into the inner corner of my collarbone because I wanted to be more defined and now this is our symbol and if you don't know our symbol then here it is this is this our symbol and we use this all the time so I wanted to put it into this tutorial for you so you know this is our symbol and you're gonna want to just do that it's basically a spiral and it represents like an eye to us so yeah, you're going to want to do that and apply a little dot in the middle and I just took a black eyeshadow to deepen up the color. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and be on the lookout for our return back to the surface. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and please make sure to share this video with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys all next week. I love you guys. I dare you play your cards, boy, you bet I'm a transit.